Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. It's um, a wet evening over here, and um, we have very, very interesting topics to keep you occupied. Today, we are going to do practice questions on logistics management information systems, aka the LMIS. I remain Dr. Ia Ezebasi, and I hope you will enjoy this session for us. Please remember to watch all the videos on uh, supply chain management series so that you could have the background to answer these questions. Thank you very much. So, question number one, which is an example of a consumption record used in LMHC in Nigeria? We have inventory control card, bin card, daily register, uh, daily activity register, requisition and easy voucher financial record. We are looking for a consumption record. All right. So we would be taking daily activity register as the correct answer. Question number two, what essential data item is recorded on stock keeping records? What you want to record on stock keeping record is the quantity of stock you have received. So what you actually have that is usable. So question number three, which of the following is not, this is a negative question, one of the six rights for the elements. You have right data, right quality, right forecast, right time, right place, right forecast looks so out of place. There are question number four, which form is used to record the transfer of commodities between facilities? You can see, if you look at C, it's a giveaway. You have a record for transferring and returning of commodities. Okay, question number five, which document helps managers to monitor the performance of the logistics systems? What we use for that is the feedback report. Question number six, what is the primary purpose of the LMIS? Why do we have to go through all this? Because you want to be able to collect data and organize them to a way that you can present them across all levels of the logistics system, all right? So that is why you uh, carry out, you have the LMIS. So question number seven, which of the supply chain logistics systems are present in Nigeria for HIV AIDS? For Nigeria, our HIV AIDS um, logistics system is composed of two levels, which is the central level and the service delivery. Point. This is to kind of like maximize the effect of that particular logistics system. Question number eight. What does stock on hand refer to in LMIS? Stock on hand refers to the quantities of usable stock that you have available, not the expired stock which you cannot use, not the one that has been added which you cannot see, but what you have available and is usable. Question number nine, which of the following is an advantage of the full system? If you had watched our first question uh, video, you should be able to answer this, all right? So the advantage is that it centralized and increases ownership. Question number nine, uh, number 10, what are losses in the context of LMIS? Um, losses refers to quantities of health commodities that have been removed from the system, probably because of transferring them out, expiring, whatsoever. So question number 11, which of the following is not a type of record in LMIS? We don't deal with financial records in LMIS. We do to the finance period. All right, so question number 12, what is an example of a stock keeping record? Stop keeping record, include inventory control cards, bean cards, you know, and so on and so forth. Then question number 13, what type of record is used for recording the movement of stock between facilities? When you have a movement, that is like a transaction. So what you need is a transaction record, all right? Like um, the returning, um, the transferring, returning commodities voucher, and all that. Okay, question number 14. Which record would you use to track products? Storage, 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 storage. That should be the stock keeping record. 
There are question number 15. Which form is used to requisition an issue stock in a post system? The name gives it out, so the B is having it. Question number 16. What should stock keeping records be cross-checked at against the SDP? You want to be cross-checking your records against some other records in the SDPs. And um, that record will be your daily activity register to make sure that nothing missing, nothing lost, nothing broken. All right. Question number 17. What information is essential in feedback reports? feedback i want feedback please that reminds me i need your feedback on this video remember to comment on the video remember to also like and remember to subscribe okay so your answer will be that you want to know the stock situation by level your feedback court question number 18 which of the following is an example of a transaction record i told you that when things move all right, between facilities, whether up to down or down to up, there is a transaction record. One of the following is position and issue voucher. Question number 10, what is the purpose of a summary reporting in LMIS? You want to be able to provide decision makers with logistics better. That is why it is summarized into a report to give them a kind of a whole situation or a pigeon eye kind of uh, uh, uh Look or what is happening in the system. All right, question number 20. Which form is used for the daily usage record for HIV kits? That would be the daily activity register. Question number 24. What type of record contains proof of requisition and receipts? When you have things that have to do with requisition issues and all that, that is a transaction record any day, any time. Question number 22, what is the minimum stock level on an inventory control card? So when you talk about minimum, it means lowest. So it should be the stock required, the lowest amount of stock required to avoid stock out. All right. Question number 23, which type of record would be used to track the daily consumption of AIV drugs, ARV drugs? You want to have a consumption, anything that has to do with usage, consumption, and uh, yeah, no, all that is a consumption record. What is the right cost in the six rights of LMIS? You want to be able to get the minimum amount of cost that is necessary without having to compromise quality. So you don't want to compromise the quality of your data, but you don't want your data to be that the, the cost of putting your data to, together to be more than even the cost used to run the program. That's irresponsible. Question number 25. Which essential data item measures the quantity of commodities dispensed over time? Your answer will be your rate of consumption. Question number 26. What should transaction numbers on requisition and ID vouchers match? It should match the numbers that you have on your inventory control card, all right? Then, question number 27, which of the following is essential for decision-making in management? You need uh, a data resource that gives you a whole or a summary of everything that is happening, and that will be your logistics data from summary reports. Question number 28, what does stock on hand represent in stock keeping records? Uh, you want to show the amount of stock, usable stock that is available. All right, question number 29, which of the following is not a reason for monitoring logistics activity? Determining whether the right quantities of the health plans were distributed to the right place that should be one of the reasons. Determining whether the medicines or medical supplies are well utilized, you should be able to monitor, right? Identifying problems facing the health worker responsible for management of the medicine store and suggesting solutions that should be true. Ensuring all activities are carried out properly. That looks like monitoring and evaluation. And in time, it's true. E, none of the proof E.
So question number 30, losses are the quantity of health commodities removed from the distribution system for any reason other than consumption by clients. What are those kind of reasons? Did it get expired? Did it get damaged? Didn't bring the right thing? Or did it get lost? Did rats eat some? Did cockroaches eat some? Those kind of things. So your answer is true. Question number 31. The three essential data items include stock on hand, correct, rate of consumption, correct, process and adjustment, correct, all of the above, correct. So your answer will be service quality. Term. Question number 32. What is the key benefit of accurately forecasting quality requirements? Okay. One of the key benefits is that you prevent stock out and stock in. I want to say thank you very much for being it does this uh, long. God bless you and have the best in your exams. Take care.